if we, if I was in Bristol, I'll be sitting down now. Uh, but I'm told in London, time has no um, meaning. So there's no clock on the wall. Amen. Um, well, that way you can't see anything. So you don't have to worry about But it's nice to be with my very good friend, Pastor Dr. Johnville. Um, a very passionate man. A very good friend. I've known him for quite a long time. I haven't grown a bit, neither has he. He's still tall, and I'm still my normal height, so... <laughs> Transition, isn't it? It's nice to be here, and uh, I just want to share with you quickly, if this works, I've, I think I've turned it on. Are, are you ready for me or yours? No? Are you ready now? No? Two seconds? All right. So we have some good friends, Sister Nicole and, and Safia, um, all the way from Birmingham. Safia is Annalise's best friend and Shereen, my wife, sitting there. Um, it's nice to be in the second best church in South England Conference. <laughs> Somebody at the front said, mm, that doesn't change the fact. So it's nice to be here. And, um, is it working now? No? I can switch. Okay, it's coming over now? Yes, it's, it's coming over. Um, I can use mine if, if yours is... Is that it now? Okay, that's it's working, thank you. All right, so, so let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Amen. A seat at the table. It's my thinking today. And I just want to, to share with you. You can stop me if you want at any point in time and ask me questions. I won't answer you anyway. But you can actually stop me and ask me questions. Think about a table. Think about a table. Think about a table. Think about the symbols or the meaning that a table suggests. I want you to just share with the person next to you. When you think of a table, when you think of a table, what comes to mind? Think of a table. <laughs> It's a food. It's like most. Like. Okay, right. I'm, I'm going to start with Sophie because I know Sophie very well. Right, Sophie, what do you think? What comes to mind? Table. Oh, by the way, I'll, I'll be preaching. Don't worry. Table. Oh, fellowship. It's a fellowship. A kind of. It's a social space. Right? Agree, disagree? A social space. Um, Sister Pastor Linda, what about you? My very good friend. Food. All right, I can see half of Tottenham is hungry. Not my fault, Pastor Johnsville's fault, right? So it, it's, just, it's a place to sit, to share, and um, with friends. The person who said, mmm. I don't know your name, but Doreen, what do you think? Companionship. Wow. I know many lonely people. <laughs> Maybe I need to move a chair and a table into their house. But it's, it's companionship, isn't it? So there's a social aspect. There's the, the aspect of um, fellowshipping. Um, Brother Charles, yes. Um, work, studying. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it has an educational dimension to it. I, 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 by the way, I cannot study around a table because my tummy starts grumbling. So when you think about a table, it has many different meanings to different people at different time. 
But when you think about a table, it also has what I consider to be um, inclusion and exclusion. So some people, I will only invite some people to my table, and I probably won't invite some people to my table. Right or wrong? So your table has a sense of privacy, but it also has a sense of publicity. In other words, you can invite some people and some people you don't invite. So it is inclusive and it's also exclusive. Right or wrong? So there's a sense of exclusivity and there's a sense of inclusivity when it comes to a table. And by the way, most tables have a limited amount of chairs. And it depends on who you are. Obviously, I've never been invited to the Queen's table, and I probably will not be invited, but that's okay. And I'll tell you why later on. You might be invited because you might have a, a special connection with Harry or Meghan. I, I, I don't. But, but the table concept, and I want you to think about it. And each of us has our own criteria when it comes to our table. Think about the, think, just think about, this is a, a layout of the temple, the, the, the Old Testament temple, which transmuted into the New Testament temple. So follow me today, I'm going somewhere with this. What is this, the, the inner court, right? In a court. And here's the court of the Gentiles, court of the ladies. And if we go inside the temple, we have the most. Who goes there? Priest. Not the priest, but the high priest. So so that's very, very, very exclusive. Only how many people could go there? And how often? Once a year. And then we have the Next section, um, the 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 inner uh, or the inner section, right? And who who could go here? Oh, I'm, I'm, I've gone back. Who who could go there? Um, priest, but the priests were Levites. So if you were not a Levite, actually you were what? You were excluded from going into the to the holy place. And then as, as the concept evolved, Pastor, then you, you, so you have then the, 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 the outer court, kind of an outer court, before we go there. And who could go to the outer court? Any, uh, uh, any Israelite. If you are not an Israelite, you are actually excluded. Unless you became a proselyte. Are you following me so far? I'm going, I'm going somewhere today. And then as time evolves, they built a section called the courts of the... Who could go there? Gentile. By the way, if you, if, if you and I were living, existing in Jewish time, you and I could only go into the courts of the... Because you are not Jewish. And then as time evolves, they have the... Who could go there? Only Jewish women could go there. So the concept of the temple, are you seeing what I'm trying to show you now, was very, very inclusive, but it was also very, some could go where and some could not go where. So, 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 so my takeaway point, and I'm preaching my full sermon by the way, just to let you know. If you say, well, I double it. I have enough material here until tonight, Pastor, trust me. <laughs> right? Okay, good, right, okay. Right, okay, so here we go. Second century Jewish system exclude Gentiles, number one. Number two, but Jesus is, is into multicultural worship. So I tell my church, I'm not happy just having black members in my church. When majority of the of the community is white. Amen. I, I don't think I don't think they get it yet. <laughs> I tell my church that we are going to be winning people who are non-black. 
I tell them that. And Mark shows that everybody should have a seat of the table. Everybody. Everybody should have a seat at the table. So let's go into it quickly, and then I'll sit down. So here we go. Read with me. Now after that, John was put into what? Prison. Jesus came into Galilee preaching what? The gospel of the what? And, and what does he say? The time is what? Fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand, and the cry is what? Repent and, and believe the gospel. Somebody says, Pastor, why, is you, why, why are you considering John an apple? Mark a, a kind of apocalyptic kind of because he's talking about the kingdom of heaven. He's, he's making a point. The reality is he's saying the kingdom of heaven is, is, at, is at hand. In other words, it's present, mm -hmm. but it's also future. It's it's near, but it's also very far away. Then he says again, let's go. And when he was alone, they that were with him, with the twelve, write this text down, ask of him the parable. He says unto him, unto who? Unto you it is what? Given to know what? The, myster the Greek word is mysterion of the, of, 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 of the, of the basilea, the mysterion of the kingdom of Theu, the mysterion of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in what? That seeing they may what? See and not perceiving, and hearing they may hear and know what? Less than any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. Listen, if you are a part of the kingdom of God, you should not see the gospel as a mystery. Why? Because God has given you, members of Tottenham Church, the key. He has given you an understanding as to what the gospel is about. So if you have been coming to church at all and you leave here and you don't understand the mystery is because you're disconnected from the source of the kingdom. Oh, I, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm talking to your church now, right? Because the Bible says that the key has been given to the disciples of God. So if you are a disciple of God, then you should have an understanding as to what the kingdom is all about. Mark chapter 1 verse 3. The voice of one crying where? Prepare the way of the Lord and make his path what? Straight. Mark 1 8. Indeed, I baptize you with the water, but he shall baptize you with what? With the Holy Ghost. Mark 1 verse 1, and there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my what? Beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Watch this. It is talking about Jesus. Jesus is being baptized. Jesus is being introduced to the world. And a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I am what? Well pleased. If God is pleased with his son, and you're a child of his son, hello somebody, then God has to be pleased with you. If anybody knows what the kingdom is about, then Jesus should. Because God says, in him, I'm well pleased. So don't listen to the foolishness some people are saying about who has the key to the kingdom. I've heard many people saying, I have the key to the kingdom. The only person who has the key to the kingdom. Are you listening to me? It's not Ellen White who has the key to the kingdom. It's not Ted Wilson who has the key to the kingdom. It's not me. It's not Pastor Jude. The only person who has the key to the kingdom is Jesus Christ himself. Now, now, this is important as I go into the sermon, because if I have the key to the kingdom, then people who are disconnected from me will never get into the kingdom of God. Are you with me? And I know some of us, we don't like some people. So if God gives us the key to the kingdom, we will lock them out. But I thank God 
I stand on this pulpit today to thank God that the only person who has the key to the kingdom is Jesus himself. And so I can walk with my head in high if you don't like me. Hello, somebody. Why? Because my salvation and your salvation is not dependent on who we like or who we dislike. My salvation and yours is dependent on our relationship with Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because some of us might not dress right to some people. We might not sing right. We might not look right. But I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. This is just my introduction. I haven't started preaching yet. Jesus is the only person who has the key to the kingdom. So don't worry. Can I sing about Molly? No, I won't. Don't worry about a thing. For every little thing, it's going to be all right. Jesus is the only person who has the key to the kingdom. By the way, so if you're a part of the kingdom, the kingdom message must be transformational. If you have been in, if you're a part of God's kingdom and you're still the same, the kingdom must be transformational. It must be what? Amen. So when I step into the kingdom and I'm still the same, I'm not in the kingdom. Amen. Amen. It must be inclusive. Yes. Hello? Yes. So it shouldn't include some and exclude others. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm going there this morning. Yes, sir. Because when I go and look, Pastor Julie will get the baton, not me. <laughs> it must also be what? Redeemable. Yes. There are no unredeemable person in the sight of God. Amen. Have you read Hebrews 11 lately? Have you read it lately? Some of us think, oh no. No, 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 no. If the gospel is the gospel, then whoever you are, whatever you have done, wherever you have been, there's something that is called grace. Amen. So, but here, here's my sermon now. That was just the introduction. Here we go now. Uh, Mark eleven seventeen says, He taught them, saying unto them, it, it is, is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for some nation? For some, only Jamaicans. 95% of my church is a Jamaican, I think. But ye have made it a den of what? Thieves. I didn't say that. I, I didn't. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all, for all nation, but you have made it a den of thieves. Did I say that? No. Good. Right. Now, and this is not an, a New Testament concept, by the way. Let's go. Old Testament. That's New Testament. Isaiah 57, even then, then will I bring to my mount and make them joyful in my, in my house of prayer. Their burnt offering and their sacrifice shall be, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all. And the word people here means Jamaicans, Trinidadians, Filipinos, Nigerians, Ghanaians. People here doesn't talk about color talks about nationality. Are you with me? My house shall be called a house of prayer for all this. A 
seat at the table. I'm going there now. Here we go. So here's Paul. You read the lesson last time about Paul, right? If you go back in Paul, they took the man, right? Acts 21, write this down. Remember in Galatians, in Galatians, remember what Paul did, right? When Peter, read when you have time, don't have time. In Galatians, when Peter sat with the Gentiles, come and sit around this table with me. Come on. Come on, man. Go sit down. Chill. <laughs> remember, sit, sir, sit. So when Peter, come and sit. Re remember the story. Remember the story. When you have time, you read it. Um, in Galatians, remember, Galatians, we just studied Galatians for those who are visitors. Peter, Peter sat with the Gentiles, right? Did he? He was eating with the Gentiles. He was having a good time with the Gentiles. Come and sit. You're Gentiles. It's okay. Nobody wants to be called a Gentile. <laughs> Come and sit. No, Pastor, you're the Jew. Please get up. <laughs> don't want you. Don't want you. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Follow me this morning. So, so, so Peter was Peter was sitting with the Gentiles. Read, read it in Galatians. Having tea with the Gentiles. Had good relationship with the Gentiles. Then a Jew came. <laughs> Don't sit. And when the Jew came and saw Peter having a good time with the Gentiles, he called him out. Oi. Called him out. Called him out. <laughs> you know the story. What then he did? He then turned his back on the Gentiles because he was what? Jewish. And by sitting with the Gentiles, he was defiling himself. Are you with me so far? And so he separated himself from the Gentiles. He turned his back because he didn't want to be classified as a Gentile. Watch the preacher this morning. Because by being associated with the Gentiles, according to the Jewish law, he would have to wash himself. And after seven days, hello somebody, he would then reintegrate himself by going to the priest to let the priest know that he has messed up. He has been tainted and defiled by sitting with the Gentiles. Can I throw it to the church now? And as Adventists, as Adventists, we treat some people the same way, like Gentiles. As a matter of fact, there's some people in this church that we won't associate with. Because they have a colored past. They have been tinted and tainted by sin. So, but even though they have come back to the Lord, we don't want to be with them because they're still spiritual Gentiles. But watch this. Read Acts when you have time. Sit down for me. The same, the same Paul. Paul wasn't as clean as you think he was. The same Paul who told Peter off did the exact same thing. Are you with me now? As a matter of fact, read it. He, he, when he, he, he went to the land of the Gentiles. He was coming back. And, and, and the Jews said, um, you have been to the land of the Gentiles. You need to wash yourself. If he's a man of principle, he would say what? No. No, because the wall of partition has been what? Broken down. Instead, what he did? For seven days. Read the text. He went and he washed himself. And then he came back. Stand up, pastor. Thinking he was pure. But whilst he was going to the temple, somebody saw him and told them that he had brought a Gentile into the church. And they whipped him so hard. Are you with me? 
there's some members who are like that. The thing they tell you not to do is the very thing that they do. And by the way, any member in the church who, who preaches a particular sermon all the time, watch them. Or talk about a particular thing all the time, watch them. It's something that they're struggling with. Hello? The Bible don't have time to go to the text. And because they want to look good, they want you to look bad. Different sermon, different time. So we have in the church, we have um, those who are righteous and those who are unrighteous. Hello? We have those who are godly and those who are because some must be included and some must be so if you're a vegetarian you have right to the tree of life to enter into the gates into the city if you wear a very long dress you are righteous if you come to prayer meeting the Lord will translate you you know what I'm talking about we have some people who are holy and some people who are unholy. Because once you go down the, the road of inclusion and exclusion, it means that some people are good and some people are... Are you? All right. May I go baptize you before we go in? All right. Pastor, open the pool. Sorry. Sorry for my cook. <laughs> <laughs> so so we have this idea we have and, and this is not a God-given idea we have this idea of who can enter and who cannot enter into the temple of whose temple is it God's temple but yet still we want to determine who must enter into whose temple? God's temple. So we have a big red sign. Some people are in and some people are. Let me go there. So so you know, so we so the Jewish system, we have this spirity kind of concept. Now look at the people who are excluded. Uh, your name might just pop up into it. Um a woman who was having her regular cycle couldn't go to church. So all the females here at some point, you just couldn't turn up to church. Don't look at me. I'm not, it's not me. The Bible said it. It's true. If you were sick, you couldn't go to church. Right or wrong? Read, read Leviticus when you have time. Um, if, 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 if you were born disabled... You couldn't go to church. Because your parents had sinned. The woman with the issue of blood, for, for how long, how long? She, she never went to the temple. Because once she starts walking about, she had to proclaim the words what? So, so, so the place of worship became very intolerant. Hmm. Uh, because when you walk into Tottenham Church, you must look a certain way. You must walk a certain way. You must talk a certain way. Because if you didn't, if you didn't, From entering, who's, who's church? God. And who is making this the decision? Have mercy, Lord. Have I been a stumbling block to somebody in the house of God? Have I said something? Have 
I said something that has blocked somebody? Have I said something? Have I done something? And, and somebody who would have been sitting at God's table is now on the outside. Because I've taken God's church to be my church. I'm going there now. I'm preaching my full sermon. You know why we're trying to do that? Because any deviation, any deviation, we think anybody does anything different from what we think, the church is threatened. But Jesus said, upon this rock, I, Jesus, will build my church and the gates of hell Write this down in your head. God does not need you to protect his church. Write it down for free. You can't even protect yourself. Amen. Write it down for free. Stop being the protector of the church. It's not your church. It's God's church. Amen. Hey, when the storm started blowing, Jesus said to the wind, Peace, be still. When the demons went into the man, Jesus said, Come out of him. When Lazarus was dead, Jesus says, Lazarus, come forth. I'm saying the church is God's church. There's a song we sing in Jamaica that says, Satan, you can't prevail because of disobedience. Christ turned you out of heaven. Satan, you got to know that the church uh, is moving on. This is not your church. Uh, this is God's church. He ain't need your protection. As a matter of fact, you need to be protected. I like the song that says, I'm, I'm wrapped up, I'm, I'm tied up, I'm, I'm tangled up in Jesus. This is not your church. This is God's church. The ecclesia, the call out. To Christ, to, to ecclesia, it is the church of Christ, not your church. church. Not Pastor Johnville's church. church. Scott's church. 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 Mark 1. So, so what they did, they tried to protect the Sabbath. You know the story. Uh, read with me, Mark 1. Write it down. Just, I'm just going to go in the book of Mark. They went to Capernaum and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue he began to teach and then he what? He healed the man of his sickness. And the leaders of the church says, what man of man is this? He's breaking the Sabbath. He's healing somebody on the Sabbath. Mm. I thought doing good. I thought if my brother is ill, whether it be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, <laughs> I thought... That the church responsibility is to reach out and, and help the brother. I thought when the brother is healed, the church would be saying hallelujah. But the Pharisees and the Sadducees sat in the corner. Rather than helping and healing and restoring, they, they criticized. The brother shouldn't even be in church. But he turned up anyhow. And when he turned up, he met Jesus. Hello, somebody. And when Jesus saw him, he healed him. The church would be rejoicing because a sinner has come home. He healed him. But the church did not rejoice for his restoration. It didn't. Read Mark when you have time. Mark chapter 2. Remember the man who came down through the roof? Read it when you have time. They carried him, his friend, carried him to Jesus. The church was there. They couldn't get in, so they what? Cut the roof. He came down. 
And when he says, thy sins be, I thought the church would be rejoicing. But the church didn't rejoice. What did they say? Why does this fellow talk like that? He's what? Who can forgive sins but the church was not rejoicing when the man was healed and his sins was forgiven. Why? Because somebody else outside of the rank of the pastorship. Are you with me this morning? Let me not go there. Mark chapter 2, write this down. Large crowd came to him. As he walked, he saw Levi, the tax collector. Follow me, Jesus says, and Levi got up. And then he went to eat what? Dinner. What did they say about Jesus? He was a what? A wine, bibber, and what? And a junkard. Gluttonous. Why? Because he was eating and drinking with what? And so Jesus responded, I didn't come to call Tottenham righteous to be saved. I came to call sinners. If you come to Bristol, you'll see me sitting by the roadside talking to the mad, the crazy. If you come, you'll see me talking to some people who, who are on the fringes of society. If you come to Bristol, you'll see a church whereby we're now going into the community looking for those who have been ostracized, looking for those who are seeking help, not just sitting in church on a Sabbath saying, holy, holy, holy. We're sitting and drinking with sinners. You know why? If you want to know how strong you are in the Lord, learn to mix. You didn't get it. You do not remain pure by standing apart. You, you remain pure by mixing. It's by mixing you know how strong you are. Write that down for free. Jesus was always mixing. And at the end, people were what? Amazed. Why? Because they saw in him the spirit of God. When God's spirit is in you, you can go anywhere. You can talk to anybody. Why? Because the battle is not yours. It is the Lord's. But when you are not strong, you are afraid to talk with anybody and everybody because you think they're going to pull you down. But I've got good news for the people in this church today. If you are tied up in Jesus, if you are tangled up in Jesus, you can go anywhere. You can speak to anybody anytime. Why? Because when you open your mouth, it is the Spirit of God who is speaking. I'm almost done now. My wife looks at me, so it's time to finish. <laughs> Thank God I brought her with me. Otherwise, I wouldn't stop. <laughs> Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the... What did they do? They were... Why, why, why do people eat? Because they are... <laughs> are you listening to me? You're hungry, so you eat. This is the church I'm talking about now. Now, this is worse. If you read the text, I'm closing. If you read the text, go back in Mark again. Um, Jewish people wouldn't go where the dead was. They wouldn't touch somebody who was possessed by unclean spirit, right? So here is Jesus, here is Jesus going amongst the tomb, not to raise the dead, but to change the life of a man who was demon possessed for years. You know the story. And Jesus, when Jesus cast the demons out of the man, the church complained that Jesus went amongst the dead. Oh, 
What about this one? I'm, I'm almost there now. You know the story of the woman who was begging bread. Watch this now. I'm coming now. So here's the point to take away. She was Greek. She was what? Greek. She was Greek. Watch this. So, so the Jews should, could go to the temple. The Gentiles could go to the, to the outer court. Are you listening to me now? Go back to the text. In, in, in verse 6, Jesus fed how many? 5,000 plus women. In, and they were Jewish. They were Jewish. Then you go to verse 8, and he feeds the Gentiles who are the cousin of the Jews. And here comes a, a Greek woman. She's not Jew. She's not Gentile. She's a Greek Syrian, and she needs bread. And she said, Jesus, can I have bread? And Jesus said, you're not Jewish. You're not Gentile. She said, Lord, I still need bread. And Jesus said, no. And she said, Lord, even the crumbs that falls from the table. Thank God that Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Amen. Are you with me now? You don't need to be Jewish. You don't need to be Gentile. You just need to say, Jesus, I'm calling on you. In my time, in my trial, I say, Jesus. In my tribulation, I say, Jesus. When my friends have turned their backs on me, I say, Jesus. When the church don't want to see me, I say, Jesus. When life squeeze me up and down, I say, Jesus. And then he says, I am the bread of life. Amen. I'm not Jewish, Jesus. I'm not Gentile. I'm a Jamaican. And, but I still need bread. <laughs> Even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. All I need, Jesus, is the crumbs that falls from your table. I'm almost done now. So the temple had what? So who could go into the most holy place? The high priest. Then who could go into the holy place? And then we have the women here. Jewish women. And then we had different parts. And then we had the courts of the Gentile. Go to the text as I'm closing now. So Jesus comes to church. Jesus comes to church now. Jesus comes to church. This is my sermon now. Go home with this. Jesus comes to church. Go to Mark 11. My ending text. He goes to church. Keep that in your head. He goes to church. So you guys need to get to... You, I'm going to have to move you from my table now, please. Yes. So Jesus goes to church. He goes to church. Where could the Gentiles go when they go to church? Where could they go? So Jesus goes to church Sabbath morning and he's walking up. When you have time, read the text. He sees the fig tree and he what? Mark 11 and he curses the fig tree. He saw leaves. When he went, there was no what? Fruit. He's not upset. He's casting a judgment on the temple. Read it when you have time. Read it. He's casting a... There, is, there are leaves, but there are no what? Fruit. And then he goes to church. Let's go now. Hallelujah. Help me, Jesus. May we make Tottenham Church a church for everybody. Watch me now. Let's go. Where are we? I'm there. Verse chapter 11. Uh, let's go. Verses. And Jesus entered 11. Entered into where? I'm closing now. I'm, chapter 11, verse 11. I'm, I'm finished now. 
My daughter's looked at me now, so I have to finish. And Jesus entered into where? And into the temple. And when he looked around about all things are now evening tide. And on the morrow he was hungry. Verse 13, and seen a fig tree. There was no fruit. And so he what? He cursed the tree. Then he went to Jerusalem. He went to church. And when he went to church, he began to what? What he started doing? Jesus took his belt. And he starts to whip. And he starts to overturn the tables. Where? In the temple of the living God. I ain't going to whip anybody this morning, Sister Sophie, don't worry. He starts overturning the temple table. And he starts to drive everybody out of the temple. Why was he doing that? Where well, he wasn't upset. Yes, he was, but a different. He went to church. Now, watch me now. Jesus is not a high priest. So he cannot go into the most holy. Jesus is not a priest. So he can't go into the holy. He's not a woman. So he can't go into the courts of the women. He's Jewish, yes. But remember now, he's seen as an outcast. Are you with me now? So he goes to church. He goes to the place where the only place the Gentiles could go and worship. And the Jewish people, hallelujah, took over the only place that the Gentiles could worship. And Jesus was so upset. He says, if the Gentile only has one place to worship, me God. And you Jewish people have taken over the Gentiles place of worship. Are you with me now? Because all of us, we were born to worship. Oh, let us worship and, and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. The Lord is in his holy temper. Let all the earth keep silence before him. The only place the Gentiles could worship, the Jewish people took it over. And so the Gentile couldn't even go into the temple and worship God in peace. But I thank God for Jesus. He took one for me because I'm not Jewish. I'm not Gentile. I'm a Jamaican. He took one for me. He says, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nation. So if I go to London, Ghana, and they don't want me, I can still step in because my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nation. If I go to London Portuguese church and they speak in Portuguese and I don't understand, I can still go in because my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nation. If I come to Tottenham and I don't look Jamaican and they don't like me, I'm still coming because my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nation. Thanks be to the glory of God. So you might have a table. I'm done now. You might have a table and you don't invite me because you don't like me. I don't care because I have my table. Brother, I don't know you. Come and, come and have a seat at my table. You look like a, a, a nice young man. What's your name? Casey. Casey, sit at Pastor Smith's table and enjoy the joys of Pastor Smith's table. I hope you'll do well in life. Sit at my table and enjoy. Sophie, come and sit at my table. I know you're, you're a very good lady. Always smiling, always kind and, and always compassionate. Come, come and, come and sit, Sister Sophie, at my table. Enjoy it. Sister Nicole, come. You know, you, you looked after my daughter when she... Sister Nicole, come on. Come sit at my table. Amen. This is my table. Amen. This, this ain't your... This is my table. Yes, and I determine who sits yes, on my table. Amen. Amen. I see people looking at me. Why have you not invited me to... to, to... No, no, this is my table. Yes, Jude is my friend. I haven't invited him to my table. This is... Whose table is this? 
my table, so I determine who sits at my table. No, that's not, no, don't say amen for that. Because I've excluded you from sitting at my table. And I thank God that at the end of time, I don't determine who sits at my table. Because John says, hallelujah, John says, Am I finished? I'm not finished. I have one slide at your mind. One slide. John says. Just you just you just do it. John says. John says. You know the text. John says. I need a seat. I need a seat. Not at my table. But I need a seat at God's table. Do you want a seat? Do you want a seat? Do you want a seat at God's table? So to some people you might not fit. So I was troubled because I'm five foot seven, weighing overweight. I was troubled because I, I, I see I, I'm 25% I'm Jamaican, 25% Chinese, I am. 25% Scottish and 25% Ghanaian. So actually I don't fit in anybody's table. If I go to, they say, no, you're not, you can't speak. Go to, sometimes even in my church, they don't think I'm Jamaican. I was born there. But John says, go my friend, John says, hallelujah. John says, John says, John says. And they what, sang a new song saying, by your blood, you ransom people, hallelujah. From what? Every tribe and language and people and and you have made them what a kingdom of priests to our God and they hallelujah they shall reign forever I don't look Jamaican but I'm heavenly minded I don't look Chinese but I'm heavenly minded I don't speak tree because I'm a Ghanaian but I'm heavenly minded I don't look Scottish, but I'm heavenly minded. John says, you will have a seat at the table of the living God. Then he said, Revelation 7, 9, a great multitude that no one could number. From Trinidad, you have a seat. From Jamaica, you have a seat. From Zimbabwe, you have a seat. From the Philippines. Yes. No. From Vietnam, you have a seat. From Ghana, where, where is Ghana? From Ghana, Brother Joseph, hallelujah. You have a seat. And my loving sister here from Guyana, you have a seat. Any other country here? I said Jamaica already. You have a seat. Jamaica, you have a seat. The Philippines, you have a seat. Any other country? Montserrat, you have a seat. You have a seat. I saw my Mauritian sister here. You have a seat. I saw the British. You have a seat. Not at Royston's table. Because my table is exclusive. So I choose. But God has chosen you to sit at his table. I'm going to sit at the welcome table. One of these days. Oh yes. I'm going to sit at the welcome table. One of these days. I'm going to walk and talk with Jesus. One of these days. I'm going to walk on streets of gold. One of these days. I'm going to run and never get tired. 
one of these days, I'm gonna live from one new moon to another, from one Sabbath to another. And when the time comes, hallelujah, I shall chase up to Mount Zion. I shall bow before him and declare, thank you, Jesus, for giving me a seat at your table.